Hey, what's going on everybody? Myself and Pearl Drums have combined forces to do a snare drum giveaway. However, they won't release the snare drum until I get 70,000 subscribers. This is where you come into play. So guess what? If you're a subscriber, you're already in. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. That way you can get a chance to win a brand new Pearl snare drum. All right, let's get to the actual lesson. Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's lesson, we're gonna be dealing with the book syncopation and a couple practice ideas to get you started. All right, so before we get to the meat and potatoes of this lesson, I wanna go over some preliminary exercises. All right, so our first preliminary exercise is just quarter notes, something like this. So that's pretty straightforward. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the same accent on the downbeats. However, we're gonna play triplets in between. So it's gonna sound something like this. In our next exercise, we're gonna play all the ands or all the upbeats. However, we're gonna swing this. So instead of it going one and two and three and four and, now it's gonna be this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then we'll do the same exact thing with the triplets. So we've gone over the downbeats and we've gone over the upbeats. Now the next step is to pick a system from syncopation. So I'm gonna pick syncopation set number one, examples nine through 12. However, before you play the whole example, my suggestion is to go over each and every measure or each and every rhythm. So let's tackle the first rhythm. The first rhythm we're gonna play on the and of one and the and of three. So it's gonna sound like this. Our next rhythm is gonna be the and of one, the and of two, and the and of three. And again, we're applying the triplet in between that. So it's gonna sound like this. In our third rhythm, we're gonna have the and of one, and then we'll play on the downbeat of three and the downbeat of four. The next rhythm will be the downbeat of one, the downbeat of two, and the and of three. So now that we've broken down each and every measure, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play just the rhythm first, and then I'll add the triplets on top of that the second time around. Something like this. So now I'll just play the example using triplets with the accents and I'm gonna play it a little faster. So for the intermediate player or the advanced player, you can actually start adding ornaments to that same kind of concept. So now I'll play the same exact thing but with flams. And again, if you're having any issues with playing the whole example, break it down each measure at a time, just like we did previously. All right, so now let's get into some drum set applications. So what we can do is, we can actually come up with systems just like a new breed, which is my favorite book, right? And what we can do is we can add the bass drum as our melody, which will be our syncopation rhythm that we've been working on. So our first hand ostinato is gonna be this. We're gonna play all the downbeats on the hi-hat, and on B3, we'll play a snare drum. That's gonna give us a halftime groove.
Now the next step is to add the bass drum on top of that. So we'll have something like this. System two will involve triplets. However, the sticking is going to be right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Now all the left hands are going to be soft because they're ghost noted. However, on B3, we're gonna move from the hi-hat to the snare drum to give us our halftime groove. So it's gonna sound like this. Once you get comfortable with that, we add the syncopation system on the bass drum. All right, system three, we're gonna be dealing with the halftime shuffle. So it's gonna sound something like this. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. So the tricky part about this system is that on B3, you have an accent, and then after that, you have a ghost note. So I would just isolate just that little portion, something like this. So notice I'm squeezing and then releasing. So make sure you practice that motion because that's going to be imperative throughout this whole thing. So now let's add the syncopation system on top of the hands. So system four is heading towards the advanced level. However, the good news is it's just a double paradiddle. The first half of the double paradiddle is voiced like this. The second half, which is the left hand double paradiddle, sounds like this. Again, my left hand is coming over, slicing over to get that left hand. I'll do it again. So now let's play the whole hand system or the ostinato together. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. And a little faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And the next step is to add the syncopation line on the bass drum on top of the ostinato. 